Hello and welcome to this Ansible tutorial in which we're going to go over using Ansible to generate network configuration templates. My name is Roger Perkin, I am CCIE number 50038. Welcome to the video, um, let's get started. Okay, so this video has been inspired by a three-part blog post by Kirk Byers um, that link to that is in the description below in which he goes through how to do this um, it's basically talking about a generic way of configuring router configuration templates um, based on different configs and template variables now to do this using Ansible you need to have everything set out in a certain way um, Ansible is looking for files in certain locations so let's just step through that now. So we've got Ansible installed here, and at the moment I am using Ansible version 2.3. Uh, you can use that by the Ansible dash dash version command. So we need to go into my templating folder. So I've got a folder which I've created. Um, this is called templates. Now within this we can see the folder structure that you need to have to be able to use Ansible to generate your configuration templates. Now it uses uh, roles within Ansible which is a common concept and within the roles um, we need to generate uh, a folder. Now in my instance we're using router. I've got another one that I've started here which is switch so these are two separate roles and within the router role um, I've got three other subfolders which are tasks, templates and vars. So these are variables in here. So to start this with your Ansible installation you need to create this folder structure. So create a folder called roles and within that folder put a router folder and then tasks, templates and vars and within those folders we're placing these files so we've got a main.yaml file we've got a ginger file called router.j2 and a main.yaml file here now i'm going to go into all of these files and show you what they contain and how they all connect together and the overarching file that connects everything together is this site.yaml file and this is the playbook that we're going to run to generate the configurations so if just pause the video for a second, make a note of this folder structure and if you can go into your Ansible and create these folders and these files within those folders then you'll be in a good place to follow along with the tutorial. But for now let's just go through these one by one and you can see what's in each file and how they're going to operate. So we'll start by the main site.yaml file, this is the top level playbook. So this is very simple, um, this is a YAML file, um, this is the playbook that we're going to run and the name is just generate router configuration files. It's going to run locally and it's looking for the roles, so we've just found one role in this which is the router roles. So this is the first element and this element now references this role here. So if that said switch, it would then look in the folders underneath the switch to make its decisions and what it did from there. So we're going to run the playbook and it will look into this folder structure, router, and it's going to first look into the main.yaml file as the task that it's going to run. So let's drop into that folder now. So once we initiate the playbook, site.yaml it's then going to reference the main.yaml in the tasks folder that will be done automatically Ansible just knows where to look for that and let's look in here so the main.yaml file hold on routers sorry into tasks that's where I need to, so this is the tasks folder this is where it's going to reference it Uh, 
Okay, so this is what's going to happen once you initiate the playbook. It's going to reference the roles of router, go into the router subfolders, and then come here, generate the configuration files is the name, and then we're going to use the template module within Ansible, which is going to say, using the source, router.j2, so this is a ginger file, which we're going to go into next. So it says using the source of that, and the destination, this is where the configuration files are going to be placed once they've once they're done. And I've created a folder called configs. And they're going to be created with the host name and it'll be .txt. So the host name of each router will be in the configs folder. And we're going to be using this file to generate those configurations and it's going to use the items in routers. So let's go back one step. So we look into the, the router subfolder here and we're going to now say, what's this file? This is the ginger template. So this task is going to reference the source for the template here. So we're going to drop into templates. This might seem a little bit confusing now, but once you've been through it once and I show you exactly what's happening, uh, we'll see how logical it all, all fits together. So within this file, this is the ginger template. So in here, we're going to be placing the actual router configuration. So this is the standard configuration lines that are going to appear in every single config and then when we reach a item that will have a different variable i.e the host name um, the loopback address the enable secret password these configuration lines are then replaced with an item so this one is the item dot host name item dot loopback and item dot enable secret so these will be referencing some variables which are defined in the variables folder. So let's step into that one. And we'll go back now and we'll drop into the variables folder. And these are my variables. So I've got, and you can see here it's got routers and that was referenced earlier on uh, when, it, when it created the configuration files it said with items in routers so what it's going to do is loop through all of these and generate a configuration file for router 1 it's going to generate a configuration file for router 2 and one for router 3 using these elements in the configuration now these are all the same at the moment this could be um, different and in fact let's uh, just make that different so you can see otherwise that could have just be the same one for each each router now as you can see this is very basic and the power of Ansible is that this can be dynamic this can scale for thousands of devices this um, demonstration is just a very simple way of just showing you what the building blocks are and um, once you've mastered the the method of this it's just going to scale and get larger and larger so let's just drop out of that and let's just run the playbook and we'll see exactly what happens now I will go into the configs folder just to show you there's currently nothing in there so that folder configs is empty And I'm going to step through this once more just to show you. We're going to initiate this playbook, site.yaml. And in that playbook, it said to use the roles router. So the playbook will then go into the router role and it will be looking for a playbook in here, which we've got. And this playbook says I'm going to generate a template, a templated configuration. And I'm going to use the 
configuration in here in the ginger template with the variables that are defined here. So this is going to merge the standard configuration with the variables from each section. So let's just run this and see what happens. So you run it by Ansible playbook site.yaml. Okay, now as it's gone orange there, you can see that it's changed. So the the playbook's gone through. It came to this task, generate the configuration files, which was defined in here in the main.yaml. And all three items changed. So if we go back now into the configs folder, you can see I have three files, three text files. And if I go into one of these, we can cut that one, show you the contents of that configuration file. Here, here is the standard configuration, and then it's then replaced in router one, hostname R1. Let's put the IP address of 1111, and the enable secret is Roger1. If we do this for the router2 config, you can see we've now picked router2 and the IP address of 2 and the password of 2. So you can see that the two elements, the variables file, so We'll go back to that and show you. So we go into the roles, and again we've got the router role. So the variables file, this is the one that contained the different IP addresses and the different passwords. The ginger template is the one that contained the standard configuration with the variables specified on each element that needed to be different between each one. And the main.yaml was the file that just ran straight away. So that's it, pretty much. It's very straightforward, it's very logical. Um, but I suggest you go back through the video again, um, create this folder structure, create these files, and then if you want to add to this, so this is a very, very simple configuration, as you can see. Uh, but if I want to increase this and make it uh, add an item into there, so let's go into the uh, router role. And we're going to go down to the template. And into the router.j2, which is the ginger file, and we'll add an extra line in. So we've got the host name, we've got interface loopback zero. So if I wanted to add um, an interface in here, addressing of an interface, so we would just put in here, let's go down. And I say interface gigabit ethernet zero IP address. And as this is going to be different for each configuration, we put the curly brackets in. It's going to be an item that's referenced in the variable files. And I'll just put gig zero in there IP. So we call it gig zero IP. So the next time we run this, it's going to go through the configuration. Each time it gets to an item here, it's going to go into the variables file, pick that variable out, and replace it in here into the configuration. So we've got gig zero IP. I've now got to create those variables in the variables folder. So we go into vars and edit the main.yaml file. And these are all the, the variable elements for each router. So in this one, I called it gig zero IP. And this is going to be 10.10.10. .10 .10. OK, 
gig zero IP. This one's going to be 20.20.20.20. And this one, gig zero IP. Now you might be thinking at this point that it would be just quicker just to create the config by hand and edit them and, and do it. And yes, it would um, for this scale. But when you're dealing with hundreds or thousands of router configurations and this file is 20, 30 times bigger and there are so many more different elements in there, this is where the power of Ansible comes in and you can for sure have everything exactly configured and provisioned to the letter so you know there's nothing going wrong. And then the next step for this would be to deploy those configs to a router. So with a like a zero touch deployment project, if you had to configure a thousand routers, you can get a base IP onto that box, get the box up, use Ansible to discover it. Um, deploy the configuration, derive it from the template, make the configuration, and then push it to the router, all very simply. But this example is just to get, you know, baby steps, just to get you started, find out how it works, and then just build on it as you go. So now we've added those elements in, we're gonna run the playbook again. Now it's going to go through the playbook again and this time it will change so you can see that an item changed in in the playbook they're all here in orange so we'll go back into the configuration folder and see what changed so i've still got three files at this point in time this is just overwriting the same file over and over we can do version control um, this can be put into Git, it can go to GitHub, all these files, configurations can be version controlled. But this example is just showing you the basics of how this operates. So we're going to cat r1.txt and again you can see now we've placed another line into our configuration. So that is the basics, that's how it works. Uh, the main element to this is the folder structure and the files that are in there. And if all that is in place, this is very simple, very logical, and this is how it works. So go ahead, create this folder structure. Um, all the, the files for this are on my GitHub. So if you click the link in the description to the GitHub, you can pull those files and have it ready to go and have a play with it. You know, Just see what Ansible can do. Very small steps first, get the hang of it, understand how it works, and then this will scale as big as you want. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you've got time, please subscribe and leave a comment if you've got any questions. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. My name is Roger Perkin. And for more tutorials on networking, please visit my website, which is www.rogerperkin.co.uk. Thanks for watching.